Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting and uh, lovely and in other words, I don't know how a lot of you guys might take this one, but to me, I think it's quite interesting to take a look at. So Substance, Painter and Adobe, we already know the fact that they are now merged. The folks at Algorithmic and Adobe are now together and there is something that is happening at this point. So if you want to get Adobe Substance Painter right now, it now comes as a collection. And this was just announced today. So just in case you go over to substance3d.com and scroll all the way down, you'd notice a couple of changes. One of the changes that you would notice is the icons are now different. So Substance Designer now has the DS icon and Substance Painter now has the PT icon. And you can see that we have two set of tools that are now new. There is one called the Substance Sampler or the Substance 3D sampler and the substance 3d stager we're going to talk about that and of course there's another new tool that we're also going to talk about meanwhile if you would like to get these tools now they come in as a collection set very adobe sort of move so for you to get this if you go over to substance 3d you can now go over to the section that has to do with compare plans and you would see how the plans are so if you're just simply getting Substance 3D texturing as a plan, as an individual, you can pay $20 to get this for a month. And you can also see right here, we have the Substance 3D collection. And with this one, you will not be able to get the stager. So what is this stager? Prior to this time, the folks at Adobe has actually come together to see that the pandemic from last year actually affected a lot of creators instead of giving them one tool at a time and sort of keeping that at some kind of discount. Lots of people have worked with this tool, so it just makes sense to bundle them together still with the spirit of subscription, but keep it as low as this. For those who like to use this for months, you can now have access to the three of them for $20 for a single month. But then the new tools that we're getting or we're seeing right now has to do with the Substance 3D Stager. Substance 3D Stager is more of what you can get with Keyshot and it is actually Adobe's dimension with a brand new set of codes. But this time it comes with more of an AI driven stuff to give you even way more photorealistic rendering. So if you're thinking about working with this tool, you probably notice that the user interface looks extremely the same with what you can get with Adobe Dimension. And for the most part, I think this is bringing that solution to rendering that a lot of people have asked for Substance Painter. So at this point, if you're going to be exporting stuff, it just makes a lot of sense to have this bundle so that you can export stuff, go over to Stager, light these things how you want, use the HDR, have access to so many materials that exist online, and you can apply this, play with some smart materials, play with some good lighting, some good effects, and get some very wonderful result. Now, that is one new tool. We already know what Substance Painter is, we know what Substance Designer is, but right here, we have something called the Substance Sampler. So what is this Substance Sampler? Substance Sampler is actually Alchemist with a brand new coat, okay? So with a brand new paint coat or with a brand new paint, that is what the Substance Sampler is. And actually, if you go over to search for Substance Alchemist right now, you would not be able to have access to that page as it is no longer available. Actually, if you go over to the Substance page, you will notice that we have nothing in that regards that exists on the Substance page anymore. If you go over to my licenses, you notice that we have nothing to that regards that exists anymore. So this is more like Substance Alchemist, but with a brand new name and a brand new marketing strategy. So with this set, there is also some other things that you guys may want to take a look at. And I'm also gonna put all these links in the description so that you can check it out. So what we have here is a Substance Stager and we've already talked about it. You can actually have access to sending things from different softwares over to Substance Stager. And to me, I think that linking thing might make a lot of sense. Creating that very small ecosystem where artists can just move files from one part to another makes sense. But now if you scroll all the way down, you will notice we have something pretty new. Now this is known as Substance 3D Modeler. This is Adobe's next new approach to 3D modeling for both desktops and also virtual reality. Right now, this is in its private beta. So in case you would like to be part of the persons that will be informed about this once it is available, you can come over here and apply for the private beta so you can join it. So the thing with the Substance 3D Modeler is you can literally just model like you will in any other traditional app. Right now, no one has actually played with it, but from the snippets that we're seeing right here within the UI, it seems like we'll be getting more primitive shapes. Some Boolean operations might be happening there. Some tiny tweaks that deals with both vertices, edges, and faces would also be happening. But for the most part, I think 
it is also going to be a sculpting tool. The fact that we have this VR thing and you can actually sculpt stuff gives that insight that these two at the end of the day might just end up being majorly for sculpting rather than doing your primitive modeling. Although down here you can see as part of the features that we have organic sculpting, hard surface sculpting and assembly tools. So I don't really think that we'll be having a lot of modeling things coming out of it. I kind of think that it's going to be more towards the sculpting side of things. So for anyone who would like to apply for this, I'm going to put this link in the description as well so you can also come through and apply for it. Meanwhile, once you apply for any of this or probably once you choose to get any of these tools that we have here, whether you're trying to get the 3D sampler or you're trying to get the 3D painter or you're trying to get the 3D designer, you would be welcomed with a brand new Creative Cloud desktop app. So this is the new gold standard for you to be able to download any of the stuff that you'll be working with. So once this installs, you'll be able to have access to either trying Alchemist, which is now known as the 3D sampler, the 3D uh, designer, which is Substance Designer, the 3D stager, which is more like Dimension, but you know, it's a brand new name right now and also the substance 3d painter and you can tell that i was actually trying to search for dimension earlier so if you also go over to search for dimension it's going to bring you right over here where you can see the apps and if you click on learn more it's going to pop you over to this page and you'll probably see nothing so this is just one of those things to keep in mind so for you to now have substance alchemist or substance sampler substance designer substance stager and substance painter as one tool you might need to have the creative cloud so the creative cloud is now fully integrated into the substance pipeline and uh, that is what it is it's obviously now fully adobe property and you can also tell with the way the icons and how the structure of these things look like now something else i think a lot of you guys may need to know is for those who would like to own substance designer and substance painter you don't want to do that repeated subscription thing then you have a chance to be able to own your stuff at this point because by the end of 2021 you will no longer be able to have free updates on steam once you have substance painter so i would strongly suggest that if you are thinking about purchasing these tools you can actually go ahead and purchase it right now because it's actually written down here that you will get free updates on steam up to the end of 2021 so outside 2021 or once you be done with the year you'll probably not be able to get free updates once you have Substance Painter and you did purchase it on Steam. In case you're thinking about owning this tool and purchasing it once, you might probably consider coming over to Steam and purchasing it at once and just owning it for now. And uh, this is applicable to Substance Painter and also Substance Designer. Rather than that, if you're thinking about working with any of these other tools, I kind of think that Dimension will be going out very soon. Right now, it still looks like it's available, but I kind of think that this is going to be going out. But if you want to get the other tools, I think the way forward for Substance Painter and also Substance Designer and Adobe as a whole is owning these tools as a subscription-based model and owning them as a collection. So this is more like it. I'd like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. For those who would like to check out the Adobe Substance 3D Asset Store, I'm gonna put this link in the description where you can check out some stuff that you can get right here. And of course, for those who like to read more on the stager, or probably you wanna read more on the 3D modeler, then link to that is also gonna be in the description so that you can do well to check these things out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video, or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys again with the tutorial update. Free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.